I was looking to build an air crate gun and everything I found online was completely impractical and made no sense. So I've decided to design one of my own. So what you need basically is a valve for the air and a valve for the liquid. So an air paint gun will be just the perfect thing for it because it has both valves. This one is from Harbor Freight and it costs only 13 bucks on sale or $16 on a regular day. All you have to do is connect your air line into that. And first thing you do, you're gonna remove that uh, spray nozzle and just throw it away. The other thing you do is take this filter out. We do not use paint, so the chances of getting something stuck there is zero. So get rid of that. Next thing, you're gonna buy this PVC adapter. This is a one inch PVC adapter. And amazingly, it just fits right onto the spray gun. So all you have to do is thread this PVC adapter to the spray gun. It may take a little bit of force, but not too much. It should fit right onto it. Next thing, we're gonna build the mixing chamber. Basically, it's a piece of PVC pipe with two adapters. The PVC is a one inch and it comes in a two feet piece you only need to cut it to eight inches. You can make it longer if you want better mixing. Um, the adapter is a one inch male adapter to a thread and the other one is a thread to a thread. So first thing you're gonna glue the pipe to the adapter and thread the other adapter. You take your steel wool and you open it a little bit and then you're gonna push it into that one inch pipe. I'm only showing a little bit of that process here you probably want to put about three times as much as you see in this video. I'm just sparing you the process of seeing me doing that. It's not the most interesting. On the other end, what you're going to do is take a piece of wire. It can be a steel wire. This is copper wire and just put it on the other end. That will prevent the steel wool from trying to escape and run through the nozzle. To make the small tip of our aircrete gun, we're going to use a half inch PVC pipe. This also comes in a two feet section and you probably only need two inches. We're going to use a PVC half inch adapter to thread this into our main thread. And this is also one more piece you'll need is a one inch to half an inch reducer. So it'll fit to our one inch to one inch coupler. And you just have to assemble everything together, so no gluing or nothing. Pretty easy and you can always open it if you need to clean it or if something gets stuck in it. This, this part I didn't really glue because I do want to have the option of taking it out. It's pretty strong and the pressure is not that high that it'll fly out. So this part is pretty important. If you miss that part, it will not work since this container has a little vent on the top so when you're using paint it will actually drain in we must block this vent because if we don't our soap will just bubble right out so use a piece of plastic bag um, or anything that will create a seal there and put it between the lid and the container then all you have to do is put the container back in place and you're ready that's it Let's uh, give it a try. So you can see this is pretty easy. You have your trigger, you have your adjustment, you have your container, and you have your mixing chamber. Much easier than this crazy construction that I see online with 10 pipes and 10 tubes. It's all in one. Pretty easy to use. All you have to do is connect your compressor line. Make sure you put some water with some soap in it. And that's it, you're ready to start spraying. And it will take some time to prime because the soap needs to build in. And you can see, it will give you some really solid, consistent soap. You do need a pretty good uh, CFM compressor if you're using one of those uh, three gallon teeny compressors that cost uh, 50 bucks, that, that will not cut it. You need a pretty good compressor to create uh, decent foam and decent quantity or it will not be able to catch up. So the main problem I found with this is this is way too much fun and you just can't stop. You, uh, It's really fun to uh, make uh, all this foam with it and uh, you can probably uh, keep doing that uh, for the whole day. I'm 
I'm thinking to uh, use it for my next uh, bubble bath. <laughs> it's so much fun. And uh, you can see that it's uh, pretty consistent. Uh, it's it's pretty strong uh, foam. If you want to make it stronger, you can actually extend that uh, tube, the mixing chamber, and put more uh, um, steel wool in it. But it's, it's pretty good. You can see it's pretty solid. So thanks for watching and uh, good luck. And I hope you enjoyed my video.